welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So I'm pretty sure we're close to finishing Yunho's route, and uh, it's actually not so bad now that he's not being fucking creepy. He's actually cute, like how he was before. So that's good. And his backstory brought up stuff, but I'm okay now. And uh, yeah, we'll just finish up his route and then look at the extras that we have and the specials, see where that diary is and what else we'll probably unlock after his route has been finished. And then I'll probably start on Lance's route after that, but that'll be in a separate video just so that we can keep everything quite definitive. So yeah, let's get started. Here, here. It took quite a while to get to the hotel from my house. When I arrived at the hotel, I saw Mom waving in front of the restaurant entrance. Entrance. Already stumbling on my words and I barely started. <laughs> oh, Mom! Dad! I haven't seen my parents in a long time. They did look tired, but I felt relieved to find them both healthy. I hugged them quickly and went into the restaurant. I really haven't seen them for a long time. After greeting each other, we moved to the table they reserved. I'm glad you look happy. You too, Dad. Yes, I think you've grown since the last time we saw you. Are you still growing? Really? I haven't noticed. You've grown a lot, and you look quite like an adult now. And you look more mature. <laughs> Do you think so? I still remember when she was a crybaby. Mom. Don't you remember? You have no idea how difficult it was when you wailed and begged for something. <laughs> Did I? I don't remember much from when I was little. Yeah, neither do I. Do you really not remember? Let's see. Yes, that doll. How old were you then? Honey, do you remember the doll your father bought her? The doll your father bought you? A doll? I was intrigued when I heard that. I must have liked dolls since I was little. I think I did, since I liked toys in general. Come to think of it, I think I surrounded myself with toys to miss my parents less. A doll? Oh, right, I remember too. Father bought it for you without telling us. Oh, it was grandfather. Dad agreed, saying he remembered. Yes, you liked that doll so much. It was so worn out and dirty that we told you we'd get you a new one, but you cried and cried, wailing no. We didn't throw it away in the end. After Grandpa passed away, I put it in the storage room. I did? I don't remember at all. I must have been really stubborn the way she talked about it. <gasps> Oh, no! If all the dolls came to life, is the mystery doll the one that's in the storage box? The one that I refuse to let go of? Oh. Holy shit! Oh my god! I didn't even think of that until now! I didn't even think that the mystery boy could have been a doll. A doll from Eerie's childhood. It's possible that that mystery boy is a toy from her childhood. And if the dolls, and since the dolls that she has now came to life, he could have too. But it's weird. I don't remember anything about the doll. The one thing you must recall. It deals with the doll. Why else would the boys be dolls? Besides, we have a storage room? I tilted my head. Really? I thought you'd remember that doll since you cherished it so much. Thanks to that, I was late for my conference presentation that day. I thought hard, but I couldn't remember anything. Don't go... Master, don't abandon me. Don't forget me. Dolls are forgotten. What Yunho said suddenly flashed through my mind. I'm sorry. I ended up apologizing without knowing. I felt sorry for that doll rather than my parents. If it was a doll I cherished that much, why can't I remember anything about it right now? Don't apologize for what's past. But really, honey, I thought she'd remember that doll forever. But I guess as you grow up, you get tired of it and get interested in other things. Oh, come to think of it, do you still collect those dolls that looked like people? 
What? Those heavy dolls that look like people, do you still play with them? Oh, I evaded. Mom looked displeased with me. You never get sick of playing with dolls. Aren't you interested in something else? I felt a bit upset at Mom's words. BJDs are an important part of me, even if no one else acknowledges that. Anyways, you are so much like your grandpa the way you collect all those things. And you're like your dad the way you quickly forget things you're no longer interested in. You're like that, too. When you're into something, you stop eating and spend your whole time researching, but when you get tired of it, you give up right away, don't you? That's just being realistic. What can I say? I'm a renaissance man and master things quickly. I'm pretty much, like, the exact same way. Like, I cherish things and hold, and get really interested in them and hold on to them for long periods of time, but as soon as I lose interest, poof, gone. And I forget about them. We'll agree to disagree. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. <clears throat> so is that old doll still in the house? I don't know. I put it in storage before. I don't remember seeing it ever since. Is it still in the storage room? Oh, right. Then do you remember this? Mom and Dad looked happy as they talked about what I was little. As they talked about when I was little. I had fun listening to stories of when I was little. We finished dinner in a joyful mood. I wish we could go up together and talk more. We haven't seen each other in a long time. Right now? It was dark outside the window. I saw the clock and it was pretty late. I should start heading home now. What should I do? <sighs> well, I already have an idea as to what I'm going to end up doing. Refuse and go home. I remembered the boys seeing me off. More than that, I thought of Yunho who asked me not to be late. Um, but I couldn't think of an excuse. Yunho's surely waiting for me right now. Here, let's go up. Let's talk more. I'll call a cab when you go back, so don't worry. After seeing their faces, I couldn't refuse. I ended up just hesitating and couldn't find any excuse to give. Ah, uh, really? But I said no! Alright, let's go. I talked a lot with Mom and Dad in their hotel room. The research they've been working on must have done pretty well. Dad got excited while talking about his work and fell asleep after gulping down beer. He's weak with alcohol, but he does this every time. I'm sorry that Dad's like this when you're here. It's fine, I had a good time today, but I can't stay the night though. Mom has so many things other than Dad to care about. I can't trouble her by staying the night here. I'm so sorry. Let's have some more family time when we come back next time. Okay, that sounds good. Then I'll be off. Alright, be careful. Can you text me when you get home? Okay. Mom got a cab and helped Dad to the lobby. Was I nervous for meeting them? I forgot to call home. It was almost already- It was already almost midnight. Everyone should be sleeping by now. I held up my phone and checked the texts. I thought maybe Yunho sent me some texts. But there was none. Is he sleeping? Thank you, sir. I got off the car and looked at our house. The windows are all dark. Everyone must be sleeping. I guess they were all tired from the exams and housework. I felt the fatigue creeping over me. <sighs> I'm sleepy too. I should go to bed right away. I lifelessly treaded to the front door. Who- Who is it? Something squirmed in the dark. As I screamed with fear, the shadow jumped towards me. Ah, huh? you, you know. Okay, good. They're not all dolls. This is good. The shadow abruptly approached me and grabbed my clothes. Someone who'd grabbed my clothes is... Master. 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 I heard Yunho's small voice through the dark. He was repeatedly calling my name and his eyes were unfocused. Y Yunho, are you okay? I held onto his shoulders to calm him down. Were you outside for long? His shoulders were stiff from the coldness. I could feel his cold body temperature through his thin clothes. Yunho slowly moved his mouth. I thought you wouldn't come. What? I thought... Master would disappear. I thought if I waited like this, you'd come back. But no matter how long I waited, Master didn't come back. <sighs> you should have called. I remembered the empty text box. There wasn't any missed calls. So naturally, I thought he was he went to bed. Yunho's red eyes shook in the darkness. He said to call you, but I was scared. I was so scared. Scared? Yunho's shaking eyes looked at me desperately. Why are his eyes so sad? 
What if Master says she doesn't want to come back anymore? That she's happier with her parents? So what if she says she won't come back? I'm just sitting here waiting for her. What if Master forgets about me? Yunho sounded lost and was trembling. Yunho? I was surprised at his overreaction. I just went to see my parents. I had no idea he'd react like this. You know, Master, your family is precious to you, right? Oh. His eyes went scary again. Are you kidding me? We're not having this again! Not after I felt comfortable around you again! No! Uh, huh? You wouldn't change your family for the world, right? Uh, of course. To me, Master, you are precious. I don't exactly know what a family is, but if I had a family, I think I would feel like this towards them. You are more precious to me than anything else in the world. But... But Master won't feel that way, right? I know Master has so many precious things. I also know there are a lot of people who like you. But... But then what should I do? You know who held on... Uh, Bleh, bleh. Wow. Yunho held on to my clothes tightly. The wrinkles on my sleeves were sharp as if they were the scars in his heart. I tried, so you could be satisfied. I said I'd try. But it's not enough, is it? I'm not enough, right? Master leaves when your family calls. I can't even beat a dad... I can't even beat a dead family member. When he mentioned Grandpa, something struck my heart. You know, that's... I mean so little to you. For me, you were everything, so I can't let you go. Yunho's eyes were full of tears. I felt like the tears in those red eyes were boiling. I have nothing. There is no way for me to keep you by my side forever. If Master decides to abandon me, I can't stop it. Yunho let go of me and backed away. Yunho only took a step back, but I felt like he was so far away. In his eyes, I saw a hurricane of unscrutable emotions. I tried, but it didn't work. Even when I tried to be overly nice, it didn't work. You wanted to leave me instead. I just wanted to be by you all the time. Yunho spread out his arms, and his lifeless eyes looked at me. Family. Yes, I want to be your family. Like your grandpa you loved until he died. No, even after he died. So Master won't forget me even when I disappear. Uh, what? Okay, this cell all of a sudden sounds really sexual. I want to mark me. Deep inside you. Yunho ran towards me. In a flash, he leaned close to me. And held onto both of my arms. Ah! Master, I want to be your family. What can I do to be your family? I'll do whatever Master tells me to. I can do anything. Y Yunho, calm down! I tried to take his hands and calm him down, but he took my hands instead and put them on his chest. I could feel his heart beat through my palms. I lost for words. I'm lost for words and just stared at Yunho. A lot of CGs all of a sudden. You can't believe me? If Master asks me to take out my heart and show it to you, I can do that too. So Master, teach me. What can I do? I want to be your family and I want to be with you forever, even after I die. His hands grabbed my wrist. His hands grabbing my wrist got stronger. His trembling only told me desperation. He was so desperate and I didn't know what to do. Yunho. His beating heart and his shaking legs let me know how he felt. My heart and his heart are both heavy. I see Yunho feeling both the fear of being abandoned and the desire to have me by himself. How many emotions are you holding in your heart? Yunho's tiny body won't be able to handle all those emotions. I felt confused seeing Yunho like this. And among all that, I wondered about something. Do I really understand this boy? I see Yunho's face in front of me. Although he was almost embracing me, he still looked cute. Just a moment ago, he was so nice to me and cared for me. But is that really all? Is this cute and lovely face all there is to Yunho? What if I wasn't adoring him, but pitying him? Maybe I didn't truly care for him when he was lonely and nervous. Maybe I just pitied him and pretended to understand. Maybe I ignored all the problems and was hypocritical to him, not knowing his scars were festering. I didn't try to understand the real reason why he was this sick and troubled. What can I do for Yunho when he's like this? What I'm feeling for Yunho amongst this confusion. What I'm feeling is... Oh, sh fuck. I have to choose something. Uh, 
this or this. I don't know which one to choose. Fuck, I don't know which one. I'm gonna quick save. I don't know which one. I don't think it's the always be by your side thing. I think it's... I don't expect anything from him because I don't. The main character does not expect anything from Yunho. They never did. Eh. But... They're always saying that they're gonna be by your side, by his side, and that's what he wants. But that sounds like an abusive relationship, because like every time she goes and leaves him for like anything, he freaks the fuck out. Oh shit! I don't know what to choose. Well, even if I fuck up, I can just go for my last save. So I'm going to say I don't expect anything from you. This might turn out badly. I... I don't expect anything from you. Yunho stopped shaking, but his tears got thicker. Yunho sobbed and backed away. Oh no! Did I choose the wrong thing? M Master wants to leave me. No, 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 don't do it! You know, I was backing away and I hugged him with all my strength. He froze from surprise. Master? That's not what I meant. The reason I don't expect anything from you is because I've already gotten enough. Oh, good. I did choose the right one. I don't need anything. You know, I don't expect anything from you. You just have to cry and laugh beside me. Just like this. I don't expect anything more from you, so don't be so troubled now. I looked at him and his eyes now shook differently. I no longer saw the craze and just saw clear tears. I just kept hugging him. You're so stupid. Why do you want to be loved by me? I liked you from the moment I saw you. But, but it's the same for other dolls too. If a prettier and cooler doll comes out, Master will forget me. That's not true. Being pretty and cool isn't important. That's not you, you know. My mom told me this today. When I was little, I used to really like this doll. I wasn't separated from it for a second. But time passed and I got new toys and forgot about the doll. I was really surprised when mom told me that because I didn't remember anything. Why are you telling me this now? Master, you... As Yunho got more nervous, I hugged him tighter. Shh. Listen to the whole story, Yunho. But I felt so bad for that doll I didn't remember. And I thought of you. I remember the things you said when you were sick. I felt so bad. I must have had good memories with that doll, but I couldn't remember. As I grew up, I looked for new pretty things. Because I changed, that doll became an abandoned toy I naturally forgot about. But I'm different now. I met you. With his cold eyes that scare the fuck out of me. I met Yunho, who's alive and moving. After seeing you come to life, I realized... I realized after seeing you hold on to me, saying not to leave you, not to abandon you, that I can never throw you away, you who have a soul, that I don't want to hurt you. That you are so kind for caring and, follow for caring and following me just because I'm your owner. That I should protect you. Yunho cried in my arms. Tears. <laughs> Yunho silently spat out all the hurt he, he he kept in his heart. I wiped away his tears and looked at him. His body was turning warm again. The night was past midnight, so all I could hear was Yunho crying. It was only the full moon in the night sky watching us. We stood there looking at each other under the moonlight for a long time. Yunho, let's always be together now. I wished to the moon over Yunho's shoulder. Please share your bright light with this boy. Let him smile bright as the light. The moon grinned. Always be together? It's all just false hope. No more of the fool who believes in promises. If you want something, you snatch it away. Yes, 
That's the lesson you taught me. There's another chapter? And who's the question marks? Okay. Festival. Oh, right. We were going to watch the tarot cards. Our new ambitious project. I present the Yunho type. Here, how is it? Isn't the face so cute and lovely? What do you think? Don't you want to have this doll by your side? Give it the charms you wish to see in this doll. An innocent puppy image of a food-loving playful look will be perfect for this doll. Everything is your, the owner's choice. Have him be whatever you want. It was such an exciting day. What each, what kind of person would my, would be my owner? I hope she loves me very much. When I met my owner and was opened, my heart beat so fast. Pretty duty! You'll sit here from now on. Here, sit at the highest seat. That's how we can see each other's eyes. Tommy, here, I'll give this to you. This is the most expensive clothes in our house. Ugh, the room is messy again. I told you to clean up. Oh, a doll fell down over there. How huh, what? Oh, that? It's fine. Just put it anywhere. What? I thought this was your favorite. Nah, my favorite doll right now is this cane. You are so fickle. Oh, right, Mom. Could you raise my allowance? There's a new dress. That's how you got money last time, not this time. Mom! I said no, and that's final. Now clean your room and go to bed. It's already late. Uh, I don't think she'll raise it this time. What do I do? I really want that dress. Oh, right, I can do that. Let's see, a doll to sell. Oh, you're here. You have a lot of scars, but if I put you on a quick sale, it'll sell. Master? What are you doing? Why are you putting me in a box? Oh, the scars are fine. I'm okay with it, so don't mind them. Look, Master, where are we going? Aw. Poor Yunho. He wasn't treasured at all. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked over at the stuffed animals that I have on my banister. Quite a few of them have been with me ever since childhood. I never lot never got rid of them. There were some I did have to get rid of though, because I just didn't feel any attachment to them anymore. It's sad when those kinds of things happen. Anyway, we learned quite a lot about Yunho. And if I'm correct, this might be the last chapter. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for today. So see you in the next one, guys. Later!